How long did you call City 31 home? Before XCOM? Almost 20 years. Advent resettled us in 21. It must be odd to see so much change since the war. Honestly, everyone here needed something new. Feels good to be a part of it. Interesting. I thought that was going to be a longer conversation. And also, it's pretty cool that you can see how far into the future that each XCOM game has led us. Uh, we're going to see how far back it started once we go back and play the other two other two games. The other two games that are similar to this one. I know they go back to like 1999, I believe, when I was looking up and doing some research on which games I needed to get in order to complete the the like the backlog, I guess, or like the history of the game. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this mission too. But to complete the backlog, I've got XCOM, what is known as XCOM 1 and 2. Uh, hang on, let me check and see what it's called, actually, so I can tell you all for sure. It's XCOM Enemy Unknown and XCOM 2. Those are the two games that I went back and bought just so that uh, I can complete this thing. Because I also want to know the, all the backstory, but also I'm not going to just watch videos on it and leave y'all to not know. So that's what we're getting through. Get it, gonna get to. Did I say welcome back? I'm King of Batting. I am. And I'm here. Anyways. Go ahead and do this mission. I'm trying to finish everything that I started before I went on that long break for the summer. Uh Gray Phoenix made its move on the starport. They overran security and are attempting to scramble starships. You need to stop those birds from launching. Who knows what they'll do when airborne? So once that's done, I'll be able to move on to those XCOM games and other stuff too. But first I have to finish XCOM, and then I have to finish Ori in the Blind Forest. I'll probably go and do Ori, the second game also right after that. So those two games, those two will probably be going simultaneously. Entering through this unit area will have your units marked. Enemies are harder to, I'll take harder to hit instead of being marked for the encounter. Cause that's gonna means we're gonna be easier to hit. We'll scan this entrance. We have three encounters. I think we have three scans, don't we? Do I have three? Yeah, we do. So we have three scans to use. Didn't mean to do that. Breach, breach. So we're gonna do we're gonna do Star Wars, the second part of that campaign, Battlefront 2's campaign. Finish this XCOM series. Finish Ori, and then we're gonna go and do the second Ori game, as well as the uh older XCOM games and probably some other stuff mixed in there too so it's not too too much of the same damn is that the only thing that got scanned no other stuff did i can't really do anything to these aggressive enemies i don't want to waste shots so i'm at least going to try and take out this faceless now because i know the faceless is going to be an issue if we don't and hang on come back up here i'll bring this game back up all right yeah, I know the face is going to be more of an issue. If I spit on something, it's going to be a 100% chance. And this will at least start dealing damage to those things that are going to hurt us. Who are you going to go for? Let's go for the Dominator and try and get them stunned or something. Because we know that they keep using this mind control effect, which takes our enemy from us. Interesting. Interesting. Two misses. All right, cool. That's solid. Didn't have to worry about them either so i get it's a good thing we didn't focus them down instead of going for that faceless then we have a berserker over here a praetorian back there so we have quite a bit going on in here Those but the thing that we need to do is right next to us to delay the launch. we're delaying the launch is this the end of, of what are we doing gray phoenix right now this is way different than it was before so i think i talked about this last uh episode where it's okay i can take a shot on you that doesn't end the turn and then i can move up with him to here activate we think the thing we need to do and it's going to put him in overwatch also on how the uh we're talking last episode about how each if you play them in a different order you're getting a different story every time target in sight it's going to increase their armor or something yeah we don't need a berserker with armor not my best and she's out in the open right now miss nah all right she does have the bonus to the arm well not bonus but she just has just armor in general we can take out the number two right now if we have a sight on them we do is that gonna be and eh, do i want to subdue them we don't have any train crowns right now i think i went ahead and not get those and right, didn't get those for target. this playthrough they weren't as important plus we ended up switching them out later on in the campaign anyways we use tongue pull on 
Let's use Tongue Pull on the Praetorium. And keep them out of this turn order. Because they're going to be a larger issue for us. Going for a patchwork. I'm a little banged up. You good? Oh shit, she's still only here. I forgot how low level we are right now. I've been playing on my own personal one that I was playing before I took that break too. And uh way further along. I think I I think we're at the part where we're fighting Atlas. They aren't amateurs. Okay, so they're stunned. We're in cover from the number four unit now too. Interact with this. Spotted the target. So you gonna try and tongue pull or just take a shot? Okay, that's not terrible. Feel noble. Don't play it down if it's bad. This dead eye thing up. is solid. Even if he like hit or miss, it's it's great because you're getting a shot off either anyways. I was hoping I was gonna still be able to move all the way up there. If I use land shot over here though, I could free her. I don't think I need to worry about that though. At least not at this very moment in time. But I know they're not gonna move and they're not gonna move, so there's no point in me trying to use the uh Yeah, that will damage her. Okay. So move up to here just in case they release the bind and then try and move. He's an overwatch. They're bound and not gonna get a turn. Let's put this at Patrick turn, but she's stunned. So we're gonna sustain the bind. We're just gonna kill them. Yeah, Torque is going to be OP. Well, would have been OP against the Praetorians later on when they're doing a lot more Another damage to us because she can just hold them. Um, so it's a powerful move, especially for enemies you don't think you'll be able to take on. We'll use Deadeye first. I think Blue Blood is one of my favorite characters. Like, he's quickly becoming hostile. one of my favorites just for his offensive prowess with the uh, the Deadeye shot and then moving and staying in Overwatch. I guess we killed everybody, so we don't have to worry about the rest of these. There's only one way into this hangar, through a corridor defended by the best Grey Phoenix has to offer. Oh, and the room is full of starship fuel, so don't shoot anything with a warning label. Is it just me, or is that the worst pep talk he's ever given? I don't think he's good at pep talks in general, personally. Uh, also, I talk to the game a lot. Um, just noticing that. Instant through here, marks your units. So I guess we will have to just deal with being marked for the encounter. Does she have the med patch? Someone should have a med kit. Oh, Zephyr does. Okay. Well, blue blood goes second this time with his skin. Zephyr with the heals. We need to get Torque, not Torque, Terminal soon because she's real helpful with her healing. We're, going in. We're having issues staying healed right now. So once we get Terminal, she's going to be on the team quite a bit. Grenade out. Interesting little thing right there. I don't even know whose body we're inside of. 85% chance here on this python. AP rounds helped out too. I want to get some talent rounds in here also. This doesn't increase our damage. It just increases our chances to hit. So maybe this will be better since it's already a 90%. And this one's 95. We'll go ahead and do this one. Just to take them out completely. We'll go for the adder because we'll probably take them out once we hit. This is a whole different room too. I like how different the game is. It's replayable at least three times. Which is pretty nice. And we can use that poison spit more than once. Did she hit or not? It really jumped straight into that thing. She's going for the adder. Take them out completely. Damn, her reaper effect too. Like, late game Zephyr is fucking powerful. She's stuck in a duel with the Praetorian. And we're trying to keep people from getting fed. Okay. But this land shot is going to go crazy. With the way everything is lined up right now all right who's first the number two dude is first we could use no there's no point in using subdue we do want zephyr to move like right now though so she doesn't take that damage unnecessarily but not even unnecessarily just those so she doesn't take damage period we'll go for the number two dude and get them out of the turn or the number three now and get them out of the turn order zapping the target Next time, just shoot. No. 
<laughs> it's funny how everyone's ragging on like on her ability that um shock it was shit i can't Shattering. remember what it's called anyway so gremlin's ability to take stuff out that's definitely one of the most i think i probably have the most damage off of that move alone just because of how it's a consistent four points of damage every time and then you can upgrade it so it has some sort of uh negative effect on them as well that's not good especially where she is i definitely didn't put her in a good position for what she's doing if i put him right here and use this land shot can how many people can i hit at least two maybe three no it's too straight right there yeah I definitely want to go ahead and check out this number nine dude it doesn't look like there's any way i can like finagle it to hit all oh shit okay let's do it like this because there's a it looks like there's an explosion something that will explode and oh yeah it is oh wait do i want to hit both of them it'll tell me if i hurt a teammate nope that's not at all what i was trying to do Dropping there we the go hammer. That explosion should deal extra damage to that uh, Praetorian as well. I think he only got plus one armor from that. This? Nah. Oh shit, I didn't even remember the Berserker, so she's getting pummeled right now. And then the. Ooh, I did not leave her in a good spot at all. Okay, the faces can't move far, it seems. But he shouldn't be able to attack right now. Alright. Well, we do have a bunch of things grouped up right now. Is there any way to hit all of them? This is in her turn. This is a deadly pool of poison. I don't think it will. Take this. Because if this doesn't end her turn, then I can tongue pull the second one. He's poisoned now, though, so he'll be taking damage through the armor. I'm pretty sure Zephyr's going to go down right now. Which usually doesn't happen. Oh, I could save her or go for the number two dude and take them out. Or I can move Zephyr out of the way. Might be better to move Zephyr because it's a 100% chance that, hey, well, this is only 63. I've never really tongue pulled a teammate for their own safety, so I'm definitely going to do it now. You owe me. Cool. And I put her behind cover, so she'll be fine. Even though she's stunned. As long as this paladin doesn't decide to go for her. That stings. Leave my squad alone. Do we have any we don't have any grenades yet either? Okay, let's go for the number four, dude. This will do four damage. I don't know if it's gonna go through the armor, but it's gonna change everything around him, I believe. And even if it doesn't, it's still gonna change to the three big dudes right next to him. Hopefully it goes down now though. Cool. And we, we did one damage to everything else in there. And that's why she doesn't shoot. All right. Does that give me her turn? So that gives me her turn. I can take this hit and then duck back into cover. Demolishing. Okay. They're stunned. So they're out of the turn order for at least their next turn. And we'll bring them right back. Or bring her right back. You use your dead eye. Um, whatever we have the highest chance Take to hit that. and we'll go for your second shot on that dude and will he die from the poison yep yes he will all right i think we played that pretty good then at first i was feeling uh kind of bad because we definitely put zephyr in a terrible position and she's still not looking too hot either we don't have any oh she has to heal actually so she'll be able to heal herself What's happening? Do we have to get over there? Clear the bay. Clear the launch bay and advance the UFO. Stop any from boarding the UFO. Uh, I guess I'll dash up to here. I don't really know what's happening right now. I guess reinforcements are about to come in, but I can't really move through this area. She doesn't have a med kit, so she must have one in my other playthrough preparation i don't know what's happening right now so i'm just trying to get everyone in a good position to shoot or move uh oh oh he does have the heal okay 
you can use the nano med kit on hello can we not hit zephyr oh i guess he can't just move over there we'll move over here then and on his next turn we'll have him do that and that puts him on overwatch also you shoot, I'll scoot. i don't know what scoot means in this context but whatever what's happening is my game glitching out or something it doesn't look like there's somewhere we're supposed to be but we also can't move through this area for real I don't want to move Zephyr too far because I know she's going to move out of everyone else's range. Don't but I think target. I still did it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's move her back to here. Out of my way. Okay. And we have to get everyone off of this bridge. If you can get them to cover all the way up here. Zephyr's advanced movement too is fantastic. Okay, here we go. Don't oh, get a shot right now. Have one of those things. I didn't expect them to get this at this point either, but this chaining jolt's gonna go crazy because it does plus damage to uh, uh, electrical units. We can't reprogram it, but shit, it doesn't matter. Overloading target. The yep, we got plus two damage because of the uh, it being a robotic unit, and we're shocking it basically. So short circuit circuiting it. There we go. Got that out. Okay. The land shot is a guaranteed hit. So let's go for the dead eye and then a land shot. I think. Gotcha. Go for another normal shot. We would do four to five damage. We, if we do max damage, we'll kill it. Or we can do land shot, which should do four to six damage. I'll go for the land shot then because it's a guaranteed hit. Didn't know there was an explosive right in front of us, so that's kind of uh shitty. Probably should take a better look at that. That's on me. She has pretty good uh moving also. We're gonna get a little closer so we have a better chance go. of making this shot. Uh by three percent. But anything is better than nothing. And I don't think Zephyr is close enough to be affected by that explosion. That was a weird little screech right there, but okay. Oh shit, we was marked for that whole encounter too, so I think we did pretty the good there. Is nearly fueled. Stop Great Phoenix before they can launch. Yeah, definitely did pretty good right there. Secure the entrance. Both of these are secure entrance, or we can go through here where the last unit does three damage during the breach. Go for the fewer aggressive. Ah, we can't go through there for real. Or we can. But we don't want Patrick to lead through an entrance because she's going to have our scan for us. Torque doesn't have anything and Zephyr doesn't have anything. Yeah, she had the Medi patch, not the med kit. That's what I confused it for. Damn, I sent Zephyr in last. I don't think the plus three damage applies to her. So I wasn't paying attention there. And a good chance to crit. Let's go for them though, because they have more health. Didn't kill, but that's fine. Eighty-one percent chance here. Only three damage. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Misclicked. And you can go for. Let's go for the berserker, because that's the last thing. Or that thing has the most health, and it's gonna deal the most damage if we leave it alone. Misses. Damn. Oh, okay. Seal the deal does affect her. I should probably start sending Zephyr in early and earlier on. That way she gets her move first instead of uh last. If they get to that console, they'll launch the ship. All right. Start off the turn with the usual of dead eye. We'll go for the uh the guaranteed hit or almost guaranteed hit. Boom. He said boom last last episode and still ended up missing. And then we'll go for number three now. 
And where our land shot is on cooldown. Uh, should we just take them out? The Praetorian is next in the turn. We could just use subdue on them. Though. Can we use subdue from right here? Can't. I don't really want to move him out if I don't have to. So we'll just go for the shot through the wall. Which is interesting. Zephyrus to duel another. Oh no, that's crew chief Yaro. Yarvo too, so it's gonna be more of an issue. And she's stunned again. She's really being like a damage sponge right now. Don't make no. I was gonna say you better not. Okay. We can move her up to here. And see who we have an angle on. 84 on the Dominator, who's headed towards the exit also. He's she's gonna bite somebody or they are I've never seen a, I've never heard the voice of a male Don't Viper, die, I, I think they're called vipers in general. I guess a race. I mean Oops I'm gonna damage both of them if we put it right here We won't be able to move into this room. We put it right there. They won't be able to move out of that room without taking damage And then we're gonna take a shot on not the adder. I want to go for the dominator since they're super close. Oh. Blue boy will take his turn before the dominator does. I still want to take them out now. Or at least attempt to. Because dead. once it gets to blue blood's turn, he'll have to either deal with the Praetorian or that dominator. I don't know. Oh, they're going to go for it. I think Zephyr's going to get taken out right now. Oh, shit. He, went for, he, does, he shouldn't even have an angle on blue blood from there. Because I know I wouldn't have an angle on them. They're still stunned. We have another. Is that a paladin or? A, yeah, it's a paladin. So he's going to buff somebody. But they're all stuck in this room right now. Shit. I didn't. I forgot this thing was right there. Let's go for crew chief Yarvo right now, though. Immune to mental effects and he missed. Now, do we go for another shot on him or do we go ahead and take out this Viper now? I think we'll go for the Viper now. Because once we take this Viper out, the Praetorian gets his turn. Unless he leaves, which I don't think he's going to make it. Or at least I don't think he's going to instantly leave. We can go for a tongue pull on them next. We don't have any angles into here. We take a shot on them. We have an 87% chance. It's going to deal more damage if we do it this way. Now, hopefully, we can get a clean shot on that tongue pull, and then we can just hold them steady. I almost want to risk this move right here. Because where is she at? She's over in this corner. So, if she can't... If she can't tongue pull from here, we'll at least be able to shoot from here. No. Okay. Well, we can shoot from here. Then on Zephyr's turn, we'll have a move to go for them. Yeah. Can we use tongue pull on Zephyr, though? No. Let's we'll go for the shot. Cool. Critical hit and they landed. I just have to hope that they don't shoot at Zephyr, which again, at this angle, I don't see how they would be able to. Interesting, even there too, though. Zephyr should be no longer stunned and get her turn now. In which case, we'll be going for it. Not them, but the Praetorian. We're going for a stun here because we know the Praetorian can still swing on us. And they're immune to mental effects, which I forgot about. Uh, we're gonna put you into parry. I think they're still trapped in this room by the poison. All right, or never mind. I guess they're just gonna move through it now. Do we use everything? Well, I think we should use. Go ahead and use everything we have on them now. 
cool and then that gives us another shot on we have a 54 percent chance there or we can blast through everything and try and take one of them out if we take them out just to do four to six damage if we take them out they'll have less health to even worry about i think i want to go ahead and try and take out the number four dude actually no we'll take out the number six guy because if we take them out the number four is going to be easier to take out yeah we got the four damage on that too so that's pretty good oh that kills them too so, so that even worked it, out then. crew chief yarvo is gone we're stuck here very well i shall direct all of our forces to stand down i accept your surrender it does not matter where you send us this world remains our prison all right and they didn't have to die either because i know last time i think they killed themselves by falling into the fire uh great phoenix defeated well done great phoenix didn't get any birds in the air nearly all of them surrendered all of them surrendered when their leaders leadership called for it not bad chimera squad as we talk about societal integration and significant number of detainees see little difference between the elders and the global council for those aliens it has nothing to do with uh their overall treatment and everything to do with the lack of place to call home we estimate no more than 10 years before the lack of reparations op options leads to an open unrest and expect rumbling to spread within five to spread within five? Oh, okay so it sounds like a lot of just issues are brewing uh overall seems like that's a, that sounds like a setup for a second confidential reports of the global truth and reconciliation commission good work chimera squad your quick thinking prevented significant damage to city 31 and yet gray phoenix was not trying to flee to the elders they wanted to go home or find a new place to call home how they went about it cannot be excused, but I will advise XCOM HQ to consider this development. So I can't remember how I decided to order these things, After but reviewing the intel from your investigation, we're left with more questions than answers. Gray Phoenix sought to steal multiple starships from the city's starport. This required secrecy. Mayor Nightingale's death made their goal more difficult to achieve. Worse, there are clear signs they had external backing. Until we know more, we've designated their silent partner, Atlas. Should we run down leads on Atlas? No, there's too little to go on. Mayor Nightingale's death remains your priority. Y you mentioned two other groups who could have aided her killers. Focus on one. If Atlas becomes more than just a theory, we'll update. All right, so I think I decided to do, do this in reverse order from last time, uh, which will put the progeny going last and Gray Phoenix going second, or Sacred Coil going second. We've seen Gray Phoenix last. If we do it this way, we'll see the progeny last. And if I, when I play it by myself, I'll see Sacred Coil last. So, what do we want to see Sacred Coil last? I kind of want to see what they get because they got Andromeda and they got Chrysalids, which are both pretty uh, powerful enemies, or at least big issues. Is intensified initiation rights for thralls resulting.